And it's really exciting for us to actually, we're very excited about the person who's being inducted into the Mullaby Hall of Fame because this award really is a really big deal. Because it does take a lifetime of achievement and it takes an intense commitment to stay committed to this industry and committed to making this industry great for everyone, not just their own selves. And the person that's inducted is a person that I've really had the privilege. I couldn't be more happier that I got to participate as the host in the year that this person gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. Because I've had the pleasure of actually having my own leadership be generated by this person. This person asked me to step up and become a leader in my local association, encouraged me to step forward and see that what I could make a difference, and have me see that I actually could make a difference and do something, and move me into actions toward that. And it's not just me, I saw him do it with many, many others. And the beautiful thing and amazing thing about this person is so often you don't see him. He's in the background. He's in the background. But at the same time, he's putting forward leaders. He's putting forward ideas. He's putting forward changes. And he's working through people and really trying to make an enormous impact in the industry. And it's the person that I've most consistently seen be so committed to have an industry where people are respected for what they do where they're admired for their talent, and where they're well compensated. And he has been unrelenting in that commitment to be able to make that happen. He's been unrelenting in that commitment from uh, uh, 1998, when I first has, have had a chance to meet him myself. Uh, he's been a constant in my life. He's been a constant in the lives of the people uh, that he is, he's touched. And honestly, there's not a person in this room. There's not a person that came to this conference. There's really not a person in the DJ industry that hasn't been, been touched and moved by this gentleman. Personally, like, I, like we said, this is really means a great deal to me because he's a very, very close friend of mine. And because of the work that he did, and because of the, the work that we did together, and, uh, and, and, and the stand that he was for me to take the kind of leadership that I took on just in the Minnesota area, much less within the country, I am standing here today because of that person. I have no doubt, and like he said, he hides. He doesn't take acknowledgement. It's difficult to tell him this, even to his face. So to be able to do this for you now, and to have you actually, to, to acknowledge him with us, it, it's, it's an extraordinary thing. So uh, without us getting much more into it, let's take a moment, and so you can learn a little bit more about this right now. Hi, this is John Young. Who does Jackie News? With the Disjockey Jackie News. The Dis Jackie News. With the Dis Jackie News. <laughs> My name is Warren Buttweiler, and I started Sound Force Disc Jockeys with John Young. That's where we kind of started. I had a large uh, music uh, catalog, and he knew that. When I was in college, he booked us at the high school for some dances and uh, rented some equipment, and that was the start. If someone was looking to go into business with John, I guess I would say, go for it. Uh, he's got... The character is solid. He basically is a man of his word. He's very pensive. Has values of honesty and integrity. Has a good heart. It's in the right place. He cares about people. He's always looking for the next person that can that can move up and, and make that change. When I first met John, very calm, very collected. He's a tremendous leader, but he doesn't try to drag you to his way of thinking, kicking and screaming. Instead, he leads by example. John Young has, has done so much for the DJ industry, uh, starting here in Minnesota with uh, Matt DJ, uh, the Midwest Association of Professional Disc Jockeys. Uh, he was one of the charter members, one of the real driving forces. John got it from the very beginning. I mean, he wanted to be a part of it from the very beginning. Uh, so me talking him into it, I don't think that was the deal. <laughs> and John providing those opportunities with the Northern Disc Jockey Conference, an awesome experience. And influence the, the industry, and influence it in ways to say, you know, there's more that's possible. Because of John, um, we started doing conferences. I think that this Jockey News has, has uh, opened up a lot of minds. I think it has uh, educated a lot of people. Uh, because of his vision for let's all work together. 
Without John Young, this would be a much different industry. Advocate being an advocate for the growth of the industry. Um, it's been a, the disc jockey news has been a good resource for pushing the industry forward. There are tons of DJs throughout this country who have benefited from what John has shared with them through all of the educational content, uh, both in the publication and online. He doesn't have an agenda other than to uh, provide the tools to better yourself. Because he knew he could get more done there. He was very much to the background. He wasn't one of the loudest people in the room. He wasn't the one that was trying to forward the most ideas. I think because of John Young and all the conventions and all of the resources that he's put out to the community, I think the level has been raised. I think it's uh, it's brought a lot of people to DJ conventions that might not have known about DJ conventions before. In the back, like telling people, you know, you can do this, you can lead, you can make a difference, and creating leaders. The more leaders there are, the more forward we go. John is so dedicated to trying to create the best education experience possible for people. From every conference, he's been there. And every article that's written, he's been there. I believe that John Young deserves to be inducted into the Mobile Hall of Fame. John Young gives back to the industry that helped make him. I don't think there's anyone more deserving than John Young for all the things he's done for this industry. Mainly because I honestly know no one else anywhere who has done more for the DJ industry, who has put more sweat equity, time, money, resources into helping other DJs. Every leader in our, in our industry has been touched in some way by John Young and his work to develop them. I have seen very few people that are so selfless uh, as John. He's incredibly giving. And there are tons of DJs in this, in this whole country who have benefited from, from John's willingness to, to constantly engage with them, to provide them with information that they're gonna find of value, that's gonna help them become better business people, better performers, and just better individuals in general. I think that's what makes him the perfect inductee to the Mobile Beat Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, to induct our next person into the Mobile Beat Hall of Fame, the publisher of Mobile Beat Magazine and the producer of Mobile Beat 2015, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Bartacarso and Ryan Berger. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, without further ado, on behalf of Mobile Beat and the entire Mobile Beat community, we would like to welcome our latest inductee into the Mobile Beat Hall of Fame for 2015, Mr. John Young. Yeah. that we brought together and this this I'm, I'm honored to to be inducted in the Hall of Fame but really there's so many people with the disc jockey news staff our writers our, our content providers and people who have been with me to to just to bounce ideas off there's so many people that, that I need to thank that 
it's a, it's a laundry list that we don't have time to go through, but a couple that I want to make sure that I, I recognize is, is my lovely wife, Lori, who couldn't be here today because she's a big part. She's a big part of who I am and what, what I can help bring to this industry. And the writers, you know, I've got many of you out there, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I would love to go through and, and acknowledge each and every one of you, but I would forget someone, and I'd feel bad, because it would probably be Mr. Page Six, six himself. <laughs> but again, thank you. And then, for those of you out there who, who, you know, watched what we've done, or like what we've done, and you've come up and just shaken our hand, and, and, and talked to me, and, and such, that means the world to me. And I really, really appreciate you, and I thank you, because without you, you're the motivating factor for everything that I do, I encourage my team to do, and we do as a team to hopefully bring this industry to a new level. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you, Mobile Beat.